Earlier today, the B.C. provincial government held their latest press conference speaking on B.C.'s current wildfire situation, and it was once again hosted by B.C.'s Minister of Emergency Management and Climate Readiness, Bowen Ma. But the conference also saw several other speakers, such as B.C.'s Minister of Forest, Bruce Ralston, who spoke on things such as the current number of wildfires in B.C., while also giving a special thank you. I'd also like to recognize and thank people in British Columbia for their efforts to reduce human-caused wildfires this season. Your diligence and attention to current prohibitions and bans significantly supports the wildfire effort. It does make a real difference and keeps our crews focused on the hundreds of naturally caused wildfires that are typical at this time of year. As for some of the numbers, BC is currently dealing with around 361 total wildfires, 13 of which are of note, and those numbers are a bit of a decrease compared to some of the numbers that were popping up in late July. But this conference was also used to highlight how the firefighter community was dealing with a pair of deaths of their own that took place not too far from one another. If you were to ask the question of how we're doing, uh, the answer is we're doing okay. Uh, It is heavy. Uh, there is a lot of grief within the organization and beyond. And, and as I said, we are continuing to show up and we are continuing as an organization. And I think as a population in BC to wrap around the BC Wildfire Service, the support staff that are supporting us, contractors, community members, to show that, that they are loved and that their work is appreciated across this province. Minister Ma used her speaking time at the event to highlight that even with some slight fire number decreases, August is typically a really challenging period of time during the wildfire season. A lot of people are still either under an evacuation alert or order. The U.S.'s Eagle Bluff wildfire has crossed into B.C., and the province's extreme drought problems unfortunately hasn't gotten really any better either lately. To hear everything else that was said at the conference, the entire event was streamed on the provincial government's YouTube page. For CFTK TV News, I'm Kale Maslin.